Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on discussing some of the basic and important most frequently used interview questions on PHP. And today I will be discussing on difference between include, include once, require and require once. Okay, as you can see I have written here a point uh, like all these functions like require, require once, include and include once are used to include the files in PHP, okay, uh, in PHP page but there is a small difference between these functions okay so uh, we use all these functions just to include one file into another file okay so now let's uh, try to understand this with the help of an example okay this is our project php faq inside this, uh, i have created these two files one is index and another one is header okay and in header i have written a text called header okay but i will be executing this index.php file but i don't i haven't written any information inside my index.php i am just calling this header.php file inside this index.php okay that is uh, that's what i am including there i am including whatever i have written in p header.php file inside my index.php file so that when i execute index.php file this information will display on the browser okay so now let us go to the browser okay now you can see when i refresh it is displaying me header okay, which is written here okay like include and require okay so let's uh, save and refresh now you can see I have written the information uh, include and require inside header.php but I am not executing header.php file actually I am executing index.php file okay so now you can see uh, I am executing index.php file but it's returning me the information that I have written inside header.php because I have call I have make a call for header.php file inside my index.php that's why it's displaying the output which I have written inside my header.php okay so this is how we can include the content which is present in one file into another file okay so exactly same thing we can do uh, with require as well okay so now instead of include I will use require you know let us see see still I'm getting the same uh, output okay so if I use include once then also i'll be getting the same output okay if i'll use include okay so previously was required once and now if i use include once still i'll be getting the same output so include include once require and require once all these functions are used to display the output output of different files or to include different files uh, into uh, into other files okay now let's come here okay so now let's go for a first point uh, the first point says if the file is not found by require okay if you are trying to call another file with the help of require function it will cause a fatal error and halt the execution of the script okay if we tries to call a file uh, suppose in this case header.php and suppose this header.php file is not present in that case if we use require then it will uh, it will uh, cause a fatal error it will cause the fatal error and it will halt or stop the execution of the script okay or uh, and in other ways if we use include instead of require okay and at that time if we didn't find that file which we are looking for which we are calling then at that time it will return a warning okay warning will be returned and uh, but the execution of the script will not get terminated okay so now what i'm saying is if i use require to include other file and if that file is not available at that time it will require will return you a fatal error and the execution of the script will get terminated okay and if i use include to call other file and if that file is not available which i am looking for then at that time it will return you the warning and the execution of the script script will not terminate it. okay so now let's try to understand this okay so first let's use include first okay so now i have used include but i am trying to call footer.php file but footer.php file is not created yet okay so now 
at this time if i try to refresh now it will give me a warning okay so that's what we have discussed here okay so if we use include and if we tries to call a file which is not present or which is not exist then it will return us a warning okay fail to open stream no such file or directory okay so in other case if we use require okay save it and inside require if i tries to call a, a file which is not exist now it will return me a fatal error see now it has returning me a fatal error so this is the explanation for include and require okay next include and require creates the possibility of including a file more than once within the same file okay and the here include once and require once avoids the possibility of including a file more than once within the same file okay suppose if we use include or require to call some other files okay so and we uh, and mistakenly we have use include or we have call the same file more than once then there is a possibility of displaying or calling the same functions or the coding more than once okay so let us see here um, i have used okay so let's change it to header okay now i will okay suppose mistakenly okay non, not intentionally just mistakenly i have uh, written uh, or i have called the same file again okay suppose i have written some hundred and thousands of lines of code php code and mistakenly i have uh, i have make an another copy of this require statement where i am calling this header.php more than one more, more than once at this time now you can see okay include and require header okay okay i'll, I'll just save it now you can see it's return it's uh, calling the same output more than once okay so this is the problem okay so suppose if we are if we are having some thousands of lines of code and mistakenly we have we are calling the same file uh, more than once then there might be a possibility of calling the same functionality more than once okay so this is this will this is the problem of using include okay now include and require I will just use include more than once now still I will get the same output see the same piece of code or same piece of information is executing more than once but if I use include once okay let's copy and I will paste it here see now also I have written the same line of code more than once that means I am trying to call the same file more than once but when I execute this it will return me only one output okay that means even if mistakenly or by mistake if we return the same piece of statement or code uh, where we are calling one file more than once using include once it will not going to make any problem with our code okay so it will take care it will take care of that uh, multiple call of a single file okay so that's why we need to use include once include once function include the file which we are calling only once in the same file okay even if we mistakenly mention the include once and we are trying to call the same file in more than once uh, in many places it will consider it as a only one call okay if i change it to require copy okay still you will see i will get only one output okay so this is the advantage of using require once and include once instead of include and require okay next which is the last point require once recommended to use in development and include once is also recommended to use in development okay so whenever you will be uh, working in development whenever you will be uh, working in it companies where you need to call multiple files in your script then it will be recommended that you should use require once and include once instead of require or include okay so these are some of the differences and this is everything about include include once require and require once the differences between all these functions and everything what will happen if you use require and include and require once 
and include one's functions in PHP okay so I hope you like this video I hope you get some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in my next video where I'll be discussing on some other interview questions okay till then goodbye see you soon